Friends and family tell me that it was a day just like today, a cool breeze and clear skies that turned tragic by nightfall. We had just finished the whole first week of school, which is what I remember most vividly. And um, it was just a long week and getting back into routine. And most of uh, my youngest daughter, Emma, who was only just finishing kindergarten, was in bed, and the other two were um, awake. But we had uh, seen Patrick in the morning, and uh, he was off working a night tour. And uh, after the events of the, the day, and everyone was kind of winding down, um, I had just put the other two to bed when I got the uh, proverbial knock at the door, and um, our world just changed. It was a Friday night when detectives Robert Parker and Patrick Rafferty were shot to death with one of their own guns while attempting to arrest an ex-convict, Marlon Legere, during a domestic disturbance call from his own mother. Both fought crime till their last moments. Rafferty was able to squeeze off one round, wounding their murderer while Parker used his last breaths to call 911. I thought that man was invincible. I loved him so much. And it is apparent that both these detectives were loved, not only by their families, but by an entire police force. Ten years later, hundreds removed their hats in honor of their sacrifice. That's what we want you to know as family, that we will never forget these two great men. And even though this anniversary sometimes it comes during this week of, uh, of mourning and celebrations and the sense of remembering, uh, it's something that will always happen. Officers reassured that although they are not family in blood, they are a family in blue that will never forget. We do this every year to remember them. The police department, you know, we say all the time, we never forget our past. You know, we never forget those that died in the line of duty. Two great detectives doing their job, responding to a domestic violence case to help a, a mother with, have, you know, they really extended themselves, and, and a complete tragedy. Two of the best detectives I had in a 6-7. The New York City detective is the number one victim's advocate in the city. We go out and help families in, in crisis, as well as stop crime, domestic violence, uh, gangs. So we, we're, we're, uh, we intervene where no one else does, so, and that has to be honored. Although the sound of NYPD bagpipes is a solemn one, all too familiar, the families told me they find comfort that the department will always remember, and that is what has helped them recover. It means so much, it's a comfort, because it brings me a piece of him, kind of, so it gives me that and it, it like fills me, so it's a good feeling. I'm the par department itself, from every level, um, continually, you know, it keeps track on us and keeps us motivated and happy and um, it's just been some, a driving force between us being okay today. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.